games. I feel like some like of my Skyrim NPC saves position. are like 64 megs. I could be wrong, but I think they were getting up there. Probably yeah. a lot of nude bots. Actually, here, I can check it right now. Comment. But I remember That's... looking at my save file and like I had some big ass numbers. It might have just been six megabytes, but got to remember where you stored all those naked bodies. Exactly. And well, that's the thing. Know. Skyrim, like, you know, they every single one of those things is a variable. Mm -hmm. And, like, there's ten variables about which position that guy is in. So, yeah, I, I can honestly see that. Because they're just, like... I don't know how that game quick saves in, like, one second. Because there's so much shit it has to save. Maybe it hmm. just saves for wherever you're in the zone at the moment. And then save still keeps eight, the prisoner old data one, everywhere else. Save eight, prisoner one, six, uh, six megabytes. Say so it was it was six megabytes, not sixty. Uh, that makes it. It's not so bad. Yeah. yeah, it's not bad. But that's I'm sure the more you change in the world text. Yeah. yeah. When you think about that, that is a lot of this equals this. Equals, yeah, it's just that's all it is. Yeah. God. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, Grace Saro just said that um, Final Fantasy VII port's coming to PS4. Yeah, that was the biggest middle finger by Square. Yep. Especially Wait, all, the, all the headlines were like, they're remaking Final Fantasy VII on PS4, yeah! And then yeah. you click on it, it's just like, it's just a slight upscale and resolution. It's the same game. What and is it? it's the PC version, the one with the, <laughs> the shitty, shitty music, yep. Oh, man. Yep. The one that Sam I played? feels good to be a gangster. Oh. Yeah, well, we, we replaced all your music, so you were spared. So they made, it, they made it a little bit better from the PC version then? Pretty much, yeah. Worse. Wow. That or they're just oh. re-releasing the PC version. I don't know yet. Yeah, Either probably just can't. that. You won't be able to mod the music. Yep. That's so, yeah. depressing. Yeah, that, that, that was a big fuck you. I, I don't know why they would ever do that. And they, like, saved that announcement for, like, a the, the Game Awards, too. Like, it's going to be, like, a huge deal. Like, God, I just don't care. Right. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to talk about this, um... It was an article I read right before we started, actually. It said, you know, like how they had, they delayed The Witcher 3. You, we've all heard this. Yes. Did they? Yeah, uh -huh. they did. I and had, it was... I uh, an interest in Witcher. Not fair enough. Anyway, they, they said they um they delayed it because they've been noticing a growing trend of, you know, AAA developers just releasing buggy and unpatched shit, which I think is very true. And I want to know if, like, you guys thought it's the correct thing to do to, like, to keep delaying over and over again until it's absolutely perfect, kind of like Blizzard and Valve style, or is it okay to get a game that works on time and then they patch it, you know, overall and makes it, you know, perfect? Well, see, I played a lot of game dev tycoon, so I know all about that. Mm, yes, you're in the field now. <laughs> mm hmm. Still haven't got a straight 10 yet. You, you, oh, sir, you just got to do game. Game Call of Duty Zombie Tycoon 7 or right. some shit? I don't know. I just don't understand how AAA titles now that are coming out, like, did the publisher not play it and, like, see this obvious bug that everyone's getting? Or they were just like, that's a feature. Hey. I think... What's up? I think what it is is just they commit to these deadlines that they can't or end up not being able to feasibly meet. Mm -hmm. So they have to release it. And then they do have a list of bugs and stuff. It's just they haven't gotten the time to fix them before. Like, they're just like, yeah, we know that uh, that NPC locks up, but we need to get this done before we can take care of that. Oh, no, where's all the time gone? Release it. So you think it's more a case of the higher up saying, fuck you, release it right now. I want my yeah. money. Absolutely. So I think that would explain why in-house companies like you know just like blizzard and valve they take a long time but they never really have that issue because, yeah, because no one's no one's forcing them to do anything neck. right mm -hmm. so that but, th that is the thing then yeah go ahead snake the thing with that though companies like valve and blizzard can afford to do that they're not mm -hmm. bleeding money yeah. is like is ea bleeding money i'm fairly certain they are like they won't be making another sims game at the sims 4 doesn't do well they have said that really huh i don't did think the sims 4 do well i don't think it did From the fact that we haven't heard much trash. about it yeah the fact that we haven't really heard anyone talking about it means probably it's not doing very well remember that big debacle over them taking out swimming pools as a feature yeah and then making a dlc didn't they yeah they made a patch for it and they didn't announce it it was just it just appeared in game oh but like they didn't like 
come out and say that it's being added? Not to my knowledge. Wow. Was it because they were embarrassed or something, or what? I don't know. Like I, I this is this is what EA has done to like Maxis because I'm I was a big SimCity fan and then the new SimCity had come out and it was just like a dumbed down baby version of it. I know yeah. that like they want to appeal to more people to do it, but you just you're killing your core fan base is the problem. Yeah. Man, speaking I was, of, I was gonna say I like The Sims One. That was a good game. Yeah, it's so much character versus the it, other ones. Though. I don't know why it was just fucking. I don't know. It could be in this Dante glasses. I don't know, but I thought that game was amazing. Go on, Snake. I could. I could play it without nostalgia glasses and tell you it was shit, probably. 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 Carry on, Snake. Speaking of SimCity, I'm pretty sure SimCity 2000 is free on Origin right now. I did see that. Oh, it's kind of cool. I have to get that. The only Sim game I played was like Sim National Park or something. <laughs> what? And Sim I remember. Park, I think. Was it the one where Do you could like, have a forest fire and have the deers running around and they're like, oh god, I'm gonna die? I'd have been Sim Theme Park now that I think about it. <laughs> Did you guys ever play a game that was like Sim City, but it was like Roman? I don't remember what it was called. Age of Empire? No, it was not Age of Empires. Sim Bowling? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? No. You said <laughs> Roman. Oh, god damn god it. Damn. <laughs> Good one. Alright, that was clever. Thank you. Ah, oh, God! So somebody in chat told me that game. It was like it was like it was like mid mid to late '90s, and it was like SimCity, but in Rome. And the word plebeian was thrown around a lot. It was very funny. <laughs> Is that why you say it now? No, SimCity Rome. Caesar? It might have been Caesar actually. SimCopter? What the fuck is SimCopter? You. I remember that. I forget what. You might have been like a police chopper or something, and you would fly around putting out fires and other things it was oh. like shovelware at walmart for five bucks <laughs> oh god russ and i were looking at a game like that where we had to be like firemen or some shit to like save yeah, the that... city or something it was like multiplayer sim copter except for everyone controlled one vehicle at a time and you had to like work together it yep. sounded like cool but it looks like garbage there's like a lot of like <laughs> micromanagement shit and ugh. Also, everyone's saying Caesar 3 and Caesar and stuff, so... I guess yeah, that's the yeah, I think it was Caesar, yeah. <sighs> Hail to Kaisar. Hey, Awe. Awe. Yeah. Snake, can we talk about something really important and close to my heart? I already know it's not going to be important if or close to your heart. If it has to do with anime, we're out of here. Just no. go. How shit Fable has become? Mm -hmm. I, I have never know. played anything but Fable 1, so I can't. I can't exactly. participate here. I was hyped up about Fable 1, but then it just crashed. It didn't live up to my expectations or what they hyped me up to do. Yeah, that's the thing. I didn't think it, it hyped up because, you know, Peter Molyneux is, is, is the king of hyping shit up and then not meeting them. <laughs> but I still thought it was a fun game. It just, yeah, it was still disappointing. Hero, get this boast. Come on, you can do it. I remember being hyped up about it from previews on, like, tech TV and shit from Adam Sessler. Mm -hmm. And then I played it and I was like, okay, I didn't get what they told me I was going to get, but I still like it because I pirated this video game because I'm a little scumbag. Right. I didn't waste my money on it. I'm happy about that. Exactly. But I still really enjoyed the game, and I played it several times. I, I never replay games, but I replayed that game several times. And then I didn't get to play 2 because that was on Xbox only, I believe. And then 3 came out, and then I was just like, okay, well, they fucked it up. And then... <laughs> Uh, the anniversary one came out for Fable 1, the anniversary, and mm -hmm. I mean, you've seen screenshots and all that, right? Mm-hmm. How, how? Were they bull shots? How? How the fuck do you actively make your game look as atrocious as that? Oh, I know what the you're The anniversary about. ones? Yeah, were, they look, look like fucking like did... mutants. Every single character looks like a mutant. Right, yeah. It I don't like get it. like almost a child, and that looks nothing like a child. It was... Holy shit. Also, Screensavers was a great show. Sorry, I saw Snake. <laughs> I miss oh. Leo Laporte. Yeah. I thought you were just talking about, like, normal Screensavers on Windows. No. 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 I mean, even <laughs> Attack of the Show wasn't bad starting off. But... That's true. I, I didn't it mind wasn't... that show at all. There was... They just also... lost a lot of their good hosts. This is the problem for yeah, me. Yeah, they did. When the whole initial G4 thing happened... You remember the show The Arena? Yes. 
That was so fucking fun. I really like that show. I like I like missing <laughs> school and just watching it. Is that Great. where they took two teams of nerds to play against each other? Yep. And they'd like do a gauntlet like yep, first game was like exactly. DDR. And it was just Jedi so Academy. Cool. Yeah, and, yeah, and Mech Warrior was also one sometimes. Unreal Tournament. It was just all these games that was just like, I wanna be these people. And I remember <laughs> Oh, what's up? No, go ahead. Oh, I was, I was it was gonna be something completely different. Like I just liked watching that show to satisfy myself because I knew that I could beat all of them at Jedi Academy. <laughs> <laughs> I remember kind of... well, God damn it, what's up? I was gonna say it's kinda of like Beat the Geek when they used to have like the Simpsons nerd on there and it's like I know all this trivia. Oh, yeah. Understandable. I'm gonna say the thing I was trying to say now. You're welcome. There was a documentary I have about actually fatality. Uh... Do you remember Fatality? The, the yeah. pro gamer? He has his own graphics card. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember they had that documentary ever up on G uh, G4 at one point, and I was just like, that's my dream. I'm going to be a professional video game player, and my mom is going to love me. And I never did it. <laughs> it got dark. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, technically, you are, you are a professional video game player, so you kind of succeeded. A, I'm a professional at something. You play games and games get paid to do it, so I play to do that's it. in the literal definition of professional. You're a professional video game player. But I don't play it for skill. I play it for, I'm going to talk about dicks. Yeah, well, that's another just an honorable line of work. It's also a skill. <laughs> it is a skill. Talking about dicks? Talking yeah. about dicks, yeah. Absolutely. If you can make talking it's about different. dicks entertaining, that's a skill. Yeah. Take it. I'm, I'm now fatality. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I could have got my own video card. Could have been the next Dr. Be Ruth and talk about penises, but rather you just play video games and talk about penises. Yeah. There you go. Fuck it. God, I remember when I worked at Best Buy in the graphics card section, there was like a giant poster of him, and he was like, Fatality recommends, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, this is a fucking stupid poster. Uh, Does he even play video games professionally anymore? I don't know. It just said gaming icon under it, and I was like, I don't remember who this is. I He's... remember him. He's just more of a spokesperson now than anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quake. He's a face. He was a Quake person, wasn't he? Yeah, he, he did shooters. I forget which ones, but yeah. It was Quake, I believe. I can't play Quake. I'm really bad at Quake. Me too. It's been years. We should have a Quake night. There's like a bunch of like Quake Live shit we can easily play. Sure. That could be fun. And I'm gonna get so motion sick. Oh, that FOV. Uh-huh. Uh, Turned up to 180. Oh, shit. Somewhere Total Biscuit is getting a boner. <laughs> He's like, what is happening to me right now? Speaking of which, should we talk about what we played this week? Sure. All right, do it. All You're right. impressed. Oh, I've been playing loads of XCOM and not getting mad, I swear. <laughs> Are you sure you're not getting mad? Yeah, I'm not getting mad. I'm just reloading, like, every five minutes. See, I've never played the game without Iron Man mode. Yeah, I need. I'm. I need to. Like, I'm learning the new expansion that I bought apparently like months ago and never played. So maybe, maybe once I man up, I'll I'll do Iron Man mode. Iron Man mode is just when a character dies or dead for good, right? You can't save and reload, kind of thing. So that's does it like does it auto save or something or what? I think you have to save and quit. Oh, uh, okay. You can't, yeah. But yeah. You so it's like Fire Emblem then. Yeah, exactly. But you can't, like, Alt-F4 or something? It'll save your progress. Regardless? Yeah, it, it saves periodically. So if you Alt-F4 in the middle of a mission, it'll take you back to right before whenever something bad, or, like, whenever you exit it out. Cool. I could say I was definitely doing that when I was playing this war of mine, though. <laughs> anyway, anytime someone died, if I Alt-F4 fast enough before it said so-and-so died, I was like, oh, they're safe. <laughs> I that game, you lose somebody, it's over. I really need to play that. One of these days, I keep getting told to play by, like, everyone. Is it that good? I enjoyed it. it. Is it... It just looks like a time management game and shit, right? That's one aspect of it, but it's not the entire game. There's also action, like, sneaking around and with a knife in your hand, and when someone passes by, you can just stab them for a one-hit kill kind of thing, and then... 
Yeah, it's more of like an inventory management game, though, as well, when you're out scavenging, because you have to pick up loot and you can only carry so much back to your base. Resident Evil. Good game. Yeah. Chris Redfield. <laughs> God damn it, don't do this. Jill Valentine. <laughs> oh, you got my favorite one. Barry Burton. I love that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca Chambers. <laughs> Albert Wesker. That one's also really good too, because then he like styling his hair back when he. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Such a shit. Oh, I love Albert. He's so cool. So you want to know what I've been playing? Yeah, I already know what you've been playing. You want to? You want to guess? I I know, but you just share the it with the class. Game. Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U Entertainment System. All the, right. Is it called the Wii U Entertainment System? <laughs> I have no idea. The Wii U-E-S. It sounds like you're like freaking out. Wii U-E-S! I would buy it like faster than if it was... <laughs> I noticed you guys yeah. have been streaming that a lot more. It's good. Yeah, been, actually. It's, it's fun to have like a game that you actually want to play and stream and shit. I like stream it because you can play it with viewers and then they're like, I'll take them. And then you take them and then they're like, fuck, you took me. <laughs> I've <great>. been took. <laughs> exactly. But then you get beaten and you're like, fuck. If I be humble, they'll respect me. If I get salty, they'll say wrecked. They're gonna fuck. say wrecked either way. They're gonna say wrecked, say wrecked either wrecked way, either yeah. Way. You're pretty fucked. Yeah, that happens. <sighs> oh, well. So Rusty been that's doing that's XCOM, Cry been doing Smash. Snake, what have you been playing? A lot of DA2. Oh yeah? How's that progress going? Well, I'm in Act 2 now. Hmm. Have you gone through the deep roads yet? Yeah, yeah, that's the end of Act 1. Okay. Yeah, that's where I quit every time. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> at least it's a different scenery at that point. Yeah, but then you come right back. You come right back. <laughs> yeah, Has that's... it been a dragon yet? I think there's only... Yes. One. Yeah, there's, yeah there was there's... one in the mines, right? Yeah. For some reason. Where the hell it came from, I have no idea, but it was there. Yeah, it's just like, I am in this mine. I am... Uh, insert that name of that one... Hobbit, dragon, smog, 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 smog is in there. Oh, well, just hang out. Cabbage back. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh God, yeah. Anne. Anne is requesting who you who you are you are uh, romancing, Snake. Jill Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know yet. Oh, we'll okay. See. Are you gonna romance Anders? You're not going to have a choice at some point. <laughs> yep. He's just going to throw I've it been, on top of you. I've been putting him down hard. All right. <laughs> all right. He's such a little whiny bitch. He's like, eh, fine. I don't want to talk to you anymore then. Uh, he's a whiny bitch, mm. but I got to keep him because he's the healer. It's a pain in the ass. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's a cock. Do the yeah. romance Rex. That's who I would do. <laughs> just fucking Rex just bring him in, in somehow. <laughs> oh, that's and right. What is in this? strange planet? In DA2, didn't they have like they did, yeah. armor? That's right. And his, then I think they his had fucking like head is also. in in a Inquisition. His fucking head is on a wall, like a trophy. Really? Yeah. Inside, yeah. like your main uh, your main Inquisitor keep, or whatever. This is the fucking dead Rex on the wall. Dude, I still can't find interest That's in sad. that fucking game. By the way. Really? I got to the point where I got Iron Bull, and then there's just this huge fucking map. And then I run up there, and I'm like, okay, I must go here then, probably. And then I see this giant fucking dragon fighting an ogre, and I'm just like, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just left. Yeah, it, I, it gets, like, I think too open world for me. It, I don't know. it really is. Like, I, I like that they tried that. It's just, I need some kind of linearity when it comes to Dragon Age. Yeah, that's exactly why I liked Origins and 2 surprisingly better than Inquisition so far, anyway. It's just... I want to just go through an A to B to C kind of thing. I don't it's know. like, yeah, like how Snake said, you you prefer linear RPGs, right? Yeah. That's, I I think I do too, which sounds weird. Like, I, we, we've had this exact discussion already about the, the whole, like, mm -hmm. wanting, like, a Skyrim thing or wanting a linear thing. I just prefer linear when it comes to that kind of setting, I guess. Yeah, me too. Because, I mean, it's, the combat is not fun enough to justify wanting to do it over and over again. Just for yep. the sake of exploring shit. You know, whereas, like, you know, if it was 
Monster Hunter or Dark Souls or something like that. It's actually fun fighting each individual enemy, so that I wouldn't mind. But someday they'll they'll marry those two things together. I do it's... like the whole crafting thing, though. Yeah. So you're saying we need we need to make a JRPG where it just starts a uh, the open world and you just go do a bunch of side quests. But it has. Maybe. Go ahead. So long as we make it so you don't have to spend 20 hours going in a straight line before you get there. Yeah. Fucking no. descending into the ruins. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that will forever piss me off. Snake was so close to where it actually gets open worldy in Final Fantasy uh, 13, and he just he was just on like the right before it happened, and then he just stopped playing. No, I Damn. descended into the ruins. I've gone in. No, I mean, it's when you get out of the ruins is oh. what I'm saying. Right after oh. that is uh, when it opens up, and it's not terrible anymore, but... Uh, Jesus. 20 hours, though? Really? 20 hours. Yeah, it, it, it takes a long time. It's a what heavy about 13.2 uh, that's on Steam right now? Nah, I don't give a shit about that game. Oh. I don't care enough about any of the characters to warrant that. Troy Baker's in it, though. I remember shit. All I know is uh, Lightning. I don't know anyone else. Yep, that's <laughs> all that really matters. Yeah. All right. I just haven't, like... like Final Fantasy's character designs for a while. I don't know why. You it brought up like you hate the whole animu, like you know, in feminine male, feminine thing. male thing. But they've been, yeah. they've done that in a lot of them. It Even really like, is. Fucking Kefka is a super feminine looking dude. Oh, definitely. Well, he's supposed to be a gesture though. That's I guess. So, yeah. I, 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 I give him a little leeway on that. But true. Final Fantasy Four is my favorite, and you, you start out as a dark knight who becomes a paladin later, and he becomes really effeminate looking. So I'm not. I'm really confused about what I like now. <laughs> <laughs> that worked on so many levels. Uh, well, anybody in chat have any uh any questions? Any things we uh you'd like to see us discuss? Like to hear us discuss? I guess. The Zelda scrolls you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'd play it. Uh, oh, you know what? What What's about up? the new Legend of Zelda? Huh. I don't know how I feel about that. Really? Yeah, I don't know. That's gone really, really, really open world. I know, that's what is, I'm saying. I don't know if I is, like that. Is it going to be... See, that's kind of what I want is another Zelda that would be open world, kind of like Majora's Mask was, where you got like a bunch of side quests to do in between. Mm -hmm. While you're just doing mainly That's what they've said it's going to be more like. So I think you would actually like that way more than I I'm, do. Then I'm getting hyped. But it seems even yeah. more open world than before. Yeah, it's like skyrim -y almost. Like, from what like I've it's seen. just really wide or what? It's just a, just a big-ass world with no, like, rear, uh, no real like clear goal other than like one main thing that you have to do. Right. As long as they don't give me like a uh, compass like from the get-go and like just have, always tell me where to go. I don't know. I like exploring and figuring things out. Yeah. Hmm. What game you know, franchise would you bury for good? Um, That's a good one. Uh, I would say if 15 is not good, Final Fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can agree with that. It needs to die. It looks pretty good so far. Well, we'll see. They if it's good, then we'll redeem the price. Yeah. Also so, Resident Evil. Yeah. yeah. They need to die <laughs> oh, what about Silent Hill? Have they been? Has it been bad? I don't oh, think they've wait. overkilled it. Well, downpour here was a total downpour. Downpour. But the new Silent Hills, whatever, could be interesting. Yeah, I have decent hopes for that. I trust Kojima. All right, yeah. keep Silent Hill. Silent Hill can stay. All right. Mm -hmm. Resident Evil is much more of an offender here. Yeah. All right, you haven't <laughs> given an answer. I haven't given an answer. Um. Neither of you were us, actually. Mm -hmm. See, I don't know about franchise, but I'll you know, definitely say that zombie, like, survival horror open world and needs, like, genre needs to, like, quit happening. Yeah, I completely agree. Way Chill out with the that. voxel shit. That's what I'm gonna say. Like, uh, Minecraft, Minecraft type, type shit. Yeah. yeah, like, I'm tired of, like... Okay, no, no, not, not that. How about... Anything that's just trying to be like, you are put on this land, survive. There's no end goal. They're just, just survival live. games. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just so like survival like, games uh, general almost. Uh, what was Seven Days to Die or whatever the fuck it was called? Right. I like survival games when they have like a uh, an actual in game, not like Minecraft does, but like uh, 
<clears throat> Pikmin kind of thing, like where you actually have a time limit what you need to do. To actually do it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's also a Game Boy Advance game where you picked a boy or girl. It's kind of like Harvest Moon, but you were on an island surviving. You had a food meter. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it was, it's don't a really remember good game. it, but that was yeah. a fun game. Yeah. So I guess survival games that give you time limits, I would I would say are okay, but just the open ended, never ending, and you'd hardly ever die kind of thing is getting really tedious. Yeah, I agree. Jack Reacher but, says, what was the last game you were fully immersed in? Uh, <laughs> last a hard-hitting question. Last of Us, that's good. I'm trying to think what I've played recently. I'm going to go ahead and say XCOM, because I do get kind of worried when shit isn't going my way. <laughs> mm. Shit, that's uh... hard. This is going to sound weird, mm -hmm. but I'm going to say Fire Emblem. Yeah, that's, no, that's a good answer. I agree. Yeah, like, I really good. cared about, like, everything going on in that game. Like, I, like, I was really worried about anyone dying, and then people died, and I was like, no! Ah! Well, it's because all the characters are actually, like, likable, and there's so many of them, but they're all, <laughs> like, actually likable. Yeah, right. Which is pretty impressive. Yeah, and then, for some random reason, it's like, I am the child of that character. It's like, oh! Spoilers! Well, like you also! Spoilers! <laughs> Children right. happen. Children happen. Babies yeah. are real. <laughs> <laughs> Babies do get made, folks. You've heard it here. I was immersed in Pokemon X and Y. I thought I was really petting a Woobat. <laughs> Jesus and he liked his pot. <laughs> oh my god. I don't mm. give a fuck. That woo bat was cute as fuck. <laughs> He's the one who's got like a heart for a mouth, right? It's like, like his like I'm a not nose, sure, right? Yeah, his it's nose or something like that. His orifice. And that's the part <laughs> he likes to be pet, and I always thought it was really weird that I'm like massaging like, the all inside. Like bright like, and pink and shit. Yeah. <laughs> fuck his weird. Christ. Hmm. Yeah, it was it wasn't bad though. I enjoyed it. What about you guys, man? What'd you get in bursting? Um Really just Jun, because Snake's the yeah, last Yeah, everyone's already answered. That's true, yeah. I would say, if not... Man, it's been a while. If not Transistor, I would say probably Mass Effect 3, though. Hmm. Oh, hmm. Transistor came out after Last of Us. It did. That was a great game. Yeah, yeah I got, I'll, I got I'll pretty immersed in that. that. Yes, I did. I forgot about I, it. Yep. I was... Everyone forgot about that game, didn't they? It was because it was so short. It yeah. was very short, yeah. That sucks. I like the end, though. Everyone was I like, oh, it was Coward's Way Out, but no, nah, I liked it. Would you rather so, games be short, or would you rather them be entirely too long? I'd rather them be short. Well, I think I guess... I'd rather them be short, too. Yeah. It's because like, um... The way he worded that, entirely too long, implies yeah, no, that they're like, just dragging it out. bad thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, I like bad things. <laughs> like, because I've played games where, like, it's good, but then it just keeps going on and on and on and then i'm just like i don't care anymore yeah yeah it really depends on the type of game like i know ff7 took me 23 hours one sitting to run through the first disc by the time i hit disc three i was at hour 55 that was all time well spent hmm. yeah that's that true. yeah i will agree final fantasy some games do work for that well because